Hello again, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. I found a solution to a problem that's been bugging me for quite a while on Arch-based Linux distros. I have a hybrid graphics laptop, the Dell XPS 15 9570, with the GTX 1050 NVIDIA card. I've had some issues over the past year or so of owning this laptop with trying to run Arch and having the hybrid graphics work properly. And for me, working properly means being able to completely power down the NVIDIA chip so that when I'm using the Intel only mode in order to save battery that it doesn't continue to run and use battery like is the case if it's in say the hybrid mode the on-demand mode if you're to run just the nvidia 435 or 440 driver it's going to default to the intel chip but it's also going to leave the nvidia card running basically idle but there and running and on my system at least the effect of that is that it's still producing heat still runs the fans and therefore is still drawing more battery than i want so I've used some different options over time. I've used Bumblebee, Optimus Manager, and some different things. I've tried a few different approaches over the last six months or so, and have had varying success. I've been able to manually power off the NVIDIA card and only use the Intel, but then that doesn't give me the utility of being able to switch the NVIDIA card if I want to. There are some times where I do want to have access to it. It's not all the time, but I like the idea of being able to switch. After all, it's a hybrid graphics system, and in order to get your full use out of it, it's nice to be able to switch on demand. On the Ubuntu side, Side of things, the 435 driver introduced Prime Select, which gives me the ability to set either the Intel or the NVIDIA or an on demand profile, which allows it to be a true hybrid. Again, the only issue with the on demand would be just like just like running Arch with the 435 or 440 driver, is that the NVIDIA chip is still running. So I do prefer to run on the Intel side. I hadn't quite been able to replicate this same type of behavior on Arch, and I knew it just had to be something that I was missing. And for Fortunately, I came across this post by Open Minded on the Manjaro forums. And this fix is going to work for any Arch based distribution because these packages are coming from the AUR. So if you're on just plain Arch, Manjaro, Endeavor, Arco, any of the Arch based Linux distros out there, this should work for. Now I'm on Endeavor with Cinnamon right now, and it works perfectly fine on here. And the combination that's suggested is that you install Optimus Manager QT and BB Switch from the AUR. He's suggesting using Tri. I use Yay as my AUR helper. It's perfectly fine. Whatever you want to use doesn't matter. Just thought I'd mention that for me, Yay is a, is a better option. Before I install anything from the AUR, the first thing I do is to look at the packages. So I, I have no doubt. I mean, I don't know open minded, but I didn't have any doubt that this was worth trying. I just always like to check. In case you're not aware, DuckDuckGo has these bangs, which are essentially just quick shortcuts for searching. And if you do AUR, and bang is just the exclamation point AUR. And let's look at Optimus Manager. And you see it takes you straight to the AUR and includes the search string that you gave the bang in, in DuckDuckGo. So if I look here, Optimus Manager QT. Well, first of all, there's enough votes that I know it's being used. Decent popularity. Come in and look. Been updated recently, which is a good sign. It means it's being maintained. And then you can look at comments to see if people are having any problems, if you run into any problems. So this all looks good. And I'll go ahead and install. So I did. I already did this. I'm not going to do it again. But you would use your AUR helper or download the package build, however you prefer to do it. Do that for Optimus Manager, QT, and BB Switch. I have it running. It runs as a tray application. Pull up the settings. And I just followed along with what he suggested here. You definitely want this to run at startup. You want it to confirm switching because when it switches, it will log you out immediately. So if you have any applications open, anything like that, you run the risk of losing data or something like that. So just be aware that if you were to come here and, and choose to switch, uh, it'll immediately log you out. You can set your startup mode, which is nice. So I choose to start in Intel with the option to switch to NVIDIA if I want. A key here for Optimus is to make sure you set the switching method to BB switch and then under Intel, NVIDIA, I believe I just left these as they were, but I just followed along with his screenshots and then he says reboot and profit. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. It's amazing. I have now exactly what I want, which is a convenient way to switch between graphics and I can have NVIDIA, Intel or hybrid, which is a great situation. And it just works the way I would like it to work, which is fantastic. So big thanks to OpenMinded for posting this. And I 
I just wanted to get this out there because I'm not sure folks were aware. Again, this is on the Manjaro forum, and I'm sure lots of people have seen this, and maybe a lot of people use this. But for me, at least, this was a new thing, and it has now made it so that I can run Arch. It works exactly how I'd like it to work. So great little solution, and hopefully this is something that helps you as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked, please like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.